All right, here's a question that I get quite a bit in class and uh, frankly, a scenario that I've just observed out in the wild quite a bit. Um, a student says, my team misunderstands the definition of done and the whole concept of a done increment. How can I help them understand it better? Three of us are trainers. We're used to helping people understand these concepts. What are your sort of go-to helps for understanding definition of done and done increment in general? Yeah, let me let me jump on this one. So when you consider a solution to be finished, um, for example, a home remodel, the bathroom works, the toilet flushes, the door closes, the paint is up there. Like it, it's you wouldn't feel uncomfortable bringing grandma over and, and she can use your restroom. Um, and uh, and so with that in mind, like you're not talking about an entire home remodel, but a subsection of your home, just one yeah. bathroom. It's usable. Um, and so when, when you think about a large product, a large product development effort, there are many, many, many features that are typically associated with a product. When you break down those features into micro problems or micro projects and finish them one at a time where the, the house is always usable when that one new addition is, is complete, what are all the things that you would have to do to make that one little addition complete? It's not about oh. the entire home. It's just about getting to a usable, safe, ready to use state for one small micro problem, but it's related to the entire product. Uh, I mean, this is, God, we could spend a long time talking about this, but in, in a short amount of time, that would that would be where I would start. Sure. I might take a crack at this with a barbecue. So here's what I'm thinking. You got Bob's barbecue, right? Uh, what are you thinking when I say Bob's barbecue in terms of like the kind of wares? Do you think it's going to be China or maybe some styrofoam with some plastic? Yeah, styrofoam or those really like thick paper, paper? plates. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what about the barbecue itself? Like it's Bob's secret sauce recipe. It's probably pretty delicious, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes down to it, Bob's going to get shut down if he doesn't at least uphold to the kitchen standards and the cooking standards that, uh, you know, the, well, FDA has set, you know, set up and you get the idea, right? Uh, so Bob's is legit, but styrofoam and plastic wares it is. Delicious. You know, finger looking good. Wait, no, that's chicken. Anyway, that's you got KFC. Bob's. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> you've got Bob's and then um, and then you've got Charlie's Chop House right down the street. Um, this place is a little different. Charlie's Chop House. What do you imagine? Styrofoam or fine china? Sounds like a nicer place to me than Bob's Barbecue. So yeah. I can find china. Sounds nice. nicer. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of nice, and you're gonna spend a pretty penny for that uh, for that barbecued shop. Um, the difference is is the quality standards between Bob's and Charlie's, and they both are oh. upheld by the same FDA standards in terms of kitchen, um, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, they're gonna get shot down, you know, shut down. Um, that's the obvious stuff. But when I walk into the chop house, I'm expecting cloth. I'm expecting the linens. I'm expecting to probably dress up a bit. Because not just anybody's going into Charlie's. And I'm expecting to spend at least three times for something similar in terms of filling this, but it's all about that quality standard. We could apply this in many other industries, but um, I like to think about the definition done in terms of that quality standard and, you know, yeah. Bob's versus Charlie's. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I like that you connected it to quality. I think that that is something that really has to be driven home when people misunderstand the definition of done it's usually that they're that they're confusing it with an amount of work so here's here's some phrases i've heard before the definition of done for this sprint is and then they talk about some amount of work they want to get done or the definition of done for this project is and then they start talking about a laundry list of features that they want before they they release it and it's not that those things are bad to talk about it's just that you're confusing the term. Definition of done is a quality standard that your product has to meet before it's usable by your your users or your, or shippable to your customers. Um, it's about quality. And so it's not about how much do I want to get done in a given period of time. That's something else. We can talk about that. We can talk about how much we want to do this sprint by looking at our sprint backlog. We can talk about a desired list of features for our, in our release plan and look at our product backlog. But neither of those are your definition of done. Your definition of done is a quality standard that has to be met by individual PBIs have to meet that quality standard. Your product as a whole has to meet that quality standard before you'd release it to your customers. And so don't think done like we're never going to touch it again. Think done like it's good enough to release. Like a cookie, if we're going to continue the, the the food metaphor, or, or a cake. A delicious cake needs to be fully done, needs to be fully baked before you'd give it to a customer. You might make more cakes after that. 
but to be a quality cake, it's got to be fully baked. Fully baked. <laughs> and I want barbecue. <laughs> Click the thumbs up to let us know you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like more of our videos in your feed. And maybe even hit that bell to get notified when we've got more videos for you. Sometimes YouTube notifications don't actually go out and you won't be notified. So we've solved this problem. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive mailing list so we can send you an email every time one of our newest videos comes out. You'll be glad you did.